the greenhouse effect. When you see a beautiful, fat, full moon, do you ever imagine what it'd be like to be up there, standing on its surface? Well, for one thing, hot. About 120 degrees Celsius hot. But 14 days later, at new moon, you'd be in the middle of the long lunar night and the temperature would have plummeted to around minus 170 degrees. On average, the Moon and Earth are the same distance from the Sun, so they get the same amount of solar energy. But here, the average temperature is 16 degrees Celsius, while on the Moon, it's more like minus 80. The Earth has a much smaller range of temperatures too. Minus 88 and plus 57 are the lowest and highest on record. So, why the difference? The answer is the atmosphere. It protects us from a lot of the sun's energy, but also traps some that gets through so that, for example, at night, temperatures don't fall that much, especially if it's cloudy. The energy that comes from the sun is electromagnetic radiation in a broad range of wavelengths. The upper atmosphere absorbs most of these wavelengths. Visible light gets through, but a third of this reflects straight back out again, mainly off clouds and ice. So only half of the energy heading for Earth gets to warm its land and oceans. Rock soil and water heated by visible light re-emit the energy as low energy infrared radiation, heat. This can pass through the oxygen and nitrogen in the air. But some gases, the so-called greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide and water vapour have molecules with structures that make them absorb the radiation. Struck by an infrared wave, they vibrate strongly before releasing the energy as a new infrared wave. This can shoot out in any direction, towards space, down to Earth, or out sideways. But in every case, there's a good chance the wave will strike another greenhouse gas molecule and change course again. Although greenhouse gases typically make up less than 1% of the air, they're in a layer of atmosphere six kilometres deep. Not much escaping radiation makes it through without encountering at least one greenhouse gas molecule. Over the entire planet, the result of this giant pinball game is that heat stays close to the Earth's surface for longer than it otherwise would, keeping it warmer. This is the greenhouse effect. Without it, Earth would have an average temperature of minus 18 degrees Celsius, which is better than the Moon. But, I think you'll agree, not as good as what we've got.